Oh my god, we are in the beach now. It's 30 degrees Celsius in the month of November. Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dechen Dolker. I make simple, useful, informative videos based on my very own personal experiences. Recently I traveled to Mexico with an all-inclusive package. I've heard enough about avoiding all-inclusive packages, but this is about my own personal experience. Everybody's experience is different and unique, right? Today in this video, I'll be sharing exactly how much it cost me to fly from Canada to Mexico and Mexico to Canada. Also, how much it cost me for the entire trip. I'll also share some do's and don'ts that I learned during the trip. At the end of this video, you will be able to decide if my trip was worth it and if you would like to go on a trip like that. I stayed in Mexico for over 8 days. So, in order to keep this video not too lengthy, I will be posting my Mexico vlog in different parts. In this video, you will see almost everything from my stay at this tropical leisure resort called Grand Serenus Roveria Maya Resort and Spa in Mexico. One thing I must tell you, the view before you land to Cancun was spectacular. I could see two different colors along the shoreline. This line that you're seeing, this is hotel zone. And across the hotel zone, you'll see two different colors of sea. On the one side, it's turquoise. On the other side, it's green. I don't know how the color turned out like that. But this was one of the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. So if you ever fly to Cancun, don't forget to check out this view from window right before you land. This was amazing. Our package included the cab services also, so we didn't have to worry about who is going to pick us up and who is going to drop us back. And we didn't have to argue with any cab driver like they say and cab drivers you cannot really trust they overcharge you right our stay at grand serenus was arranged by sun wing airline and it cost us 1075 dollars canadian dollars inclusive of everything for eight days so we had this room as you can see every day it was cleaned properly um, and the balcony view was like that you can see it gave us a really good feeling like I was back in India the air was so warm and at night the view was like this you can see the stars we also had coffee shops look at this everything was included to me personally I felt it was worth it because $1,075 also included our flights from Canada to Mexico and Mexico to Canada our uh, full stay for eight days and we could have you know access to banquet services for from morning to night so breakfast lunch dinner everything was included Okay guys, one thing I must tell you, if you are on a diet, don't go on all inclusives because they have buffet morning, day and night and even like till 3 a.m. at late night they have snack bar. So you will end up eating more than you need. Like obviously why wouldn't you right? There's fresh food, really good expensive food like seafood, that's expensive and um, for us honestly we thought this is really good because imagine if you had to buy food from a foreign country where you don't know the language people may probably overcharge you right and if not then you would probably have to travel back and forth on a vehicle and have to pay cab drivers so personally i felt it was okay because we also 
uh, didn't have to pay for flights right back and forth so probably we paid around three hundred dollars back and forth for the flight and the room food everything included so maybe we paid only sixty dollars a day and uh, you could try food from everywhere if you like spicy they had spicy food if you like um, Canadian or continental or whatever kind you like you know they have so much variety and every day they put something new on the menu I was very impressed honestly but if you are on a diet don't go don't go on all-inclusive you will end up eating more than you need I mean I did Okay, we also had three different kind of reservation we could pick three different restaurants uh, for our dinner reservation this was Mexican restaurant they had around eight different restaurant I guess yeah so we went to Mexican Japanese and a steakhouse so I have recorded whatever I could and this is uh, how it looks like oh yes you can see some tips uh, we made sure that we tip around 50 to 100 peso uh, wherever we go uh, our package included everything but tip you can pay by yourself right and why wouldn't you because they're not getting paid enough and they were very sweet people so our room service were nice uh, dinner service everybody had a smile on their face as you can see that guy yeah it was so cool uh, but make sure you if you are going for a special reservation book ahead of time because those places get filled really fast because um, people everybody is having buffet all the time right and uh, how long can you have this buffets every day right so sometimes you want a special treatment like a special dinner reservation so people book it up really fast so we made sure we also book it ahead of time and we could go and complete all our reservations so that was really good for us
This was the Japanese restaurant. Uh, you're looking at the Japanese reservation right now. Uh, everybody had a smile on their face and they were cooking in front of us. It was really cool and uh, the staff was very lively, I must say. You know, they were making this funny noises like coo -hoo, coo -hoo. like I don't know what, what was why they were saying that, but it was it sounded so cool, you know. And this is fried ice cream. It was really good. And this is steak. Yeah, we went to steakhouse. I guess on the third day, it was magnificent, really juicy and big. And um, yeah, to my surprise, even alcohol was free. It was, I mean, included. Can you believe it? We were only paying like $60 a day and having steak and unlimited alcohol. That was like a dream come true. Although I'm not much of a drinker. I only had one glass of wine in like seven days. I'm not gonna lie, I was trying everything even though I was full. I mean, you know, we have this tendency to do it when everything is already paid off and, you know, fresh, then why wouldn't you try, right? That's why I was saying, if you are on a diet, don't go for all inclusives. And uh, one thing I must say, I love how Mexican um, people, they always keep lemon and spices on the side. That was so good to me, you know, I enjoyed it thoroughly. Yes. So, I'll talk to you in a bit. Today, we're going to see Dolphin Show, right next to the beach. And we're going to go on top of that room. That's where they have a huge swimming pool for dolphins. Thank you. <laughs> you gave it to me for a 
Oh my god, look at that. I got fresh coconut. That was Lazy River, but this, this was my favorite spot in the entire resort. Imagine, this was right next to the beach, so you can have the breeze, you know, fresh breeze from the sea and hear the birds chirping because there's nothing but just nature around you. And if you need cocktail or anything to sip on, you can just grab anything. There are a lot of open air restaurants around. And this was at the beach. So now I'll take you on the beach. Let's go for a walk on the beach at Grand Serena's Roveria Maya Resort. I hope you like this. This taco station, I call it Taco Hut, it was so good, oh my god, they had the spiciest taco I've ever had, oh my god, they had this chili oil, I'll show you later, right now I'm having papaya, see, this papayas were the sweetest papaya I had in a long time, reminded me of India, because India, I must say, India will, uh, weather and Mexican weather are very similar, you know, they were like 30 degrees Celsius in November you can imagine how hot it was and uh, yeah this was the the taco station I was talking about they have lemon and chili oil their chili was oh my god unbeatable the best and they had this hot dogs that I never tried and uh, burgers I'm not interested in <laughs> this is the end of the video i'm going to conclude here it is getting a little too long i must tell you that i haven't shoot a lot of places like their spa area their theater area and their karaoke night that was spectacular uh, if you ever visit grand serenus uh, attend the karaoke night very entertaining 
so that's all from grand serenus i hope you enjoyed the video i'll be uploading more videos because i did get the chance to go to tulum the beautiful city of tulum cenote and cancun of course so i'll be uploading more videos till then stay tuned and take care of yourselves thank you for watching Sal